Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. These are fractious, divided times. The country is no longer a country, but a collection of angry, disparate groups of people with no common ground or cause. Each day we wake up in a screaming climate rife with fresh horrors and disputes to keep us occupied as the powers that be conspire to keep us in mental chains. It's bad and it sucks, is what I'm saying. But, if I can suggest something uncontroversial meant to yoke us together, Pokemon should not have real fur. This is all from Detective Pikachu, a fever dream of a movie starring Ryan Reynolds as a talking, crime-solving Pikachu, spun off from the larger Pokemon universe. The first trailer dropped today, and it is bananas. The movie takes place in a world where Pokemon are real, and where this wisecracking Pikachu must solve some kind of wrongdoing with his human partner. Pokemon is one of the great millennial cultural phenomenons like EMO and TRL, it was bound to make a comeback. The movie seems like it'll be good to watch on drugs, though a friend noted it's borderline offensive that they went the whole Deadpool route with Pikachu, instead of letting him remain a pure, sweet electric boy. I'd focus my critique in another direction, the Pokemon look weird. It's difficult to render any cartoon into the corporeal realm, but easier when you're translating things with IRL antecedents like humans or robots. Pokemon, however, are fictional animals with deeply unreal physiognomies and colors. We know what a human looks like, and thus have a way of automatically converting a fictional human like Speed Racer or Peter Parker into a real human portrayed by a real actor. But we have no way of knowing what a perfectly spherical pink Jugglypuff would look like, nor a chubby Sadak with the beady eyes, nor the titular star. There's something in our brains that doesn't accept the more realistic depiction. Is this natural to you? Is this normal? No, it's not. The animators have gone the Christopher Robin approach, which is one thing when portraying a childhood favorite from a specifically nostalgic approach. This just feels like a transgression against the world God created.